Hi guys, how you doing? I uh, just want to give you some progress uh, I've done today. I uh, changed some stuff here in the circuits. Um, just to make uh, my life easier, you know. I put some terminals here. L1, L2, L3, L4 to do all the measurement from these uh, parts. Same goes for the current. I made this for L4 and L3 and uh, the way I do it this is the MISCIG uh, uh, part for uh, measurement and this is uh, the model number CP 2100A and it's able to do 800 kilohertz 10 amp uh, scale or 100 uh, amp I'm using the 10 amp and I'm putting the arrow going to the inside rim of the uh, coil the pancake coil and pretty much the other stuff is the same except the uh, value of the capacitor C3 is 10 nano farad now and the value for the c2 is 131 nano farad and um, that's it uh, no other changes uh, yeah and uh, i made this uh, little tower uh, 3d printed because uh, this was lying on the table and was not very safe to to have it this way this way i can put it anywhere in here safely same goes for the uh, current probe uh, i started with the uh, resistors and uh, i put 75 uh, ohm resistor and then i put that to it's uh, 2000 uh, ohm uh, resistor and uh, i tried many uh, resistors and um, they heat up they heat yes of course and uh, i end up with this i end up with uh, this is a, a water heater element of course it's used and um, it's uh, just uh, i replaced it so this is but this is uh, 240 volt you see the rating and 4500 watt each i'm putting only on one and uh, it is heating it uh, i want to show you that's the good news it is heating and uh, if i if i do the this one first which is 20 degrees and then if I go on this it's 29 degrees you see and a half it's going up see 20 degrees and this is 30 it's been uh, on for uh, at least 15 minutes now so, but this is the input power. This is a 60 volt, 31 multiplied by 2 and uh, multiplied by 0.3, which is, uh, let me calculate that. I don't think it's a big, big deal. It's a... Uh, Okay, 62.6 multiplied by 0.3 equal 18, 18 watt. Okay, and here is the graph how it looks like, and uh, this is my frequency 56 kilohertz square wave of 50% duty and uh, let me show you 
So I have here the channel one is the thousand X, the probe, the big uh, mama over there, and uh, this is showing. That's showing. 1.1 kilo volt that's under load 1.1 kilo volt if i go to the ac component of that because this is a dc also the dc component the ac component of that rms is 130 volt and it's uh, 170 kilohertz which makes sense because I'm running this at 56 and this is uh, 170 180 kilohertz and uh, this is the AC component unless I'm mistaken I don't know but uh, if I put it on DC then I get the uh, full 1.1 uh, uh, kilohertz okay and for the current is the second channel here the second channel I'm gonna put it on I'm getting uh, 800 milliampere 800 milliampere so 800 milliampere multiply that by 120 or actually the 120 is not even valid it's much more than 120 because of the frequency and also there is the DC component which I don't think the DC component will heat up this uh, element to tell you the truth but uh, let me uh, check again the let me change the hand <laughs> you see not all the parts because they're covered with uh, that uh, thing from the water, you know, that's why I replaced it. But uh, only the part that is clean can give you the right uh, temperature. And if I go to the other one, it's 20 degrees. So just to give a little progress, I'm sure uh, it can be tuned much, much better than this and uh, we're waiting for uh, Evo to, to tell us the uh, best uh, method to uh, tune this uh, but I'm just uh, going um, this way the way I do it is uh, I go to L2 let me show you L2 and let me clear this and L2 here is showing a thousand and let's measure it 1200 volt which is good maybe we can go more I, I'm not sure I don't want to blow up again uh, MOSFETs I blow up uh, four MOSFETs so far and they're expensive guys it's 20 bucks each <laughs> uh, anyway that's uh, that's the uh, the uh, signal on L2 okay I'm gonna leave it on L2 and I'm gonna switch the current on L3 just to show you so 
So if I change the frequency, you see that's uh, that's the best result I got so far. But I think that's uh, pretty low, the 56 uh, kilohertz to 32s. But do you guys notice something? It's the ripple is still here. The ripple. And I tried to get rid of it by increasing the frequency. But you know, I it reduced. It only reduced the uh, consumption, but it reduced also the pulse. Uh, instead of 1200, it will go to 800, even 400 volt. So that's why I'm not too sure about that part. It's not working for me. Maybe because the limitation of my capacitor value. So let me show you the capacitor value that I'm working with till now. I'm just gonna shut it off. Because that uh, two fan on the MOSFET are uh, a bit loud. <laughs> so 6.6 .6 for the C4, C1 is 0.77, these guys and c5 and c6 are the same value c2 is 131 nano farad this one and c3 is 10 uh, nano farad and i'm putting the probe here and here for the voltage and the current this and that for the l4 is here uh, current and uh, voltage and here for L3 but uh, you know uh, I had a problem also this uh, arrow here uh, when I do it uh, toward the inside of the coil the phase there is a phase shift between the the uh, voltage and the uh, current. Actually, let me show you that. So that's L4, and I'm gonna put this on L4. And let me turn on the system. You see, that's the voltage and the current. And as you see, there is a phase shift. If I put this arrow toward the load, this arrow. And run it again. There's still a <laughs> fish. So I'm not sure what's going on here. Maybe Ibu can enlighten me on this part. Alright guys, that's all for now, but I think, uh, I think I can officially say that we're getting uh, more than what we put in. That's for sure, that's what I see it. Alright, thank you.